Welcome, witches and wizards. Let's begin. Find somewhere comfortable to lie down or sit in. Let's begin by engaging our breath and let's relax our bodies with every exhale. Allow your body to relax, starting from your head. Then moving down, allow your neck to relax. Allow your shoulders to drop down by your side. Allow your biceps and triceps to relax. Allow your forearms to relax. Your hands and fingers relax. Your chest and upper back relax. Your organs and your spine relax. Your abs and lower back relax. Your hips relax. Your quads and hamstrings relax. Your calves relax. Finally, your feet and toes completely relax. Now let's bring our attention to Ted. What we know so far, they are the God of success and prosperity. Elements of bear and dragon. And they live in their crystal layer. Just follow your mind. See what comes up along their story beginning of time, all the way to now. Let's begin.
It's adorable. Ted came into this world. And immediately started seeing stars for me and fell in love. And so, in terms of where he lives, his labyrinth. has all the stars collected and he hoards them for the right people to claim their dreams and hopes. In terms of what he looks like. It was a polar bear. It actually reminded me a bit of like an owl bear. Indeed. But weird. with the, the bear's mouth. And I don't think any of him was human. small one, like a cute one, not childish like Steven. Um, and someone else actually came up. I noticed, I think it's Susan. Yeah, the flamingo. The first star he ever gave to someone else was Susan. Her hopes and dreams spreading love to the world. gifted her a star to help her and I believe they're lovers. In terms how we pray to Ted. pray to realize our dreams. Even though he lives in a labyrinth, he isn't protecting it. He guides those to the right dream. To the dream that allows them to be most successful and proud by the end of their life. And so the stars in the night sky, they are the dreams that have already been realized. They're the dreams that Ted has given and that have been completed. The brighter the star, the more fulfilling the dream. And a lot of the people that pray towards Ted and worship Ted hope one day that their star can light up the night sky.
used to mislead. A labyrinth is used to mislead. It should be a, a half, halfway of you know, doors instead. No, that's, it's hard for humans to find their dreams on their own. That is why they seek Ted's help. So that they can find their way through the maze to their dream. I got a bipolar bear that hoards stars in his bum, then later gifts them to people. I get it's a funny concept. Uh, I just got a, a 50 year old huge dragon wings in a, a crystal a crystal castle very content with his riches and yet giving to the deserving ones it's see even though when I saw even though when I saw Ted it was his more common form he had no wings because he fell in love with the stars, um, he, he sprouted wings from his back. He has the ability um, to fly. He just no longer has the wings now, was my conclusion. Because he no longer needs to collect any of the stars. They have served their purpose. You can use Ted for success in LOL. In all honesty, no. I wouldn't use Ted for your small goals. For menial tasks, like... Like, I wouldn't even go as far as winning the lottery. Because Ted focuses on the dream, the whole of your life. What the point is what you are heading towards and so even if for instance you were to win the lottery on that path that lottery win would not have been your dream i've written quotes Ferris, thank you for the follow, by the way. Did anyone else see anything? Like, in terms of... I do like the idea of a, a dragon in a castle. It has the same concept. They have wealth and they, they wish to share it. Did they say anything to you? I didn't speak. The one thing, like, where I felt like I actually spoke to them, they, again, I didn't. It, it wasn't a direct communication, but the first thing I did was I tried to see what they looked like. And, like, I saw, that's when I saw the out there, but it was like he looked at his, he looked at his fur and he was like brown. What do you mean brown? That's not a wealthy colour. <laughs> and he, he changed it to white. He was like, polar bear skin is so much more valuable. It felt Dracula vibes. There is, there is obviously a very masculine energy here. where I feel like his, his star is the biggest of them all. And yet it can't be realized until all the other dreams have been given. No, his breath didn't smell. 
<laughs> I, I haven't actually been able to tap into smells and stuff or anything like that during these. But again, we're not trying to summon them. We're just trying to see what they're like. So I wouldn't expect anything like that. <laughs> it was rainbows <laughs> of success. I wish it told me more about um, Susan. The God of Love, who's the Flamingo. Only visually, I go, yeah, I, again, I'm not trying to gain wisdom from them. I'm not trying to summon or use these as a ritual. I'm just trying to cement law. Just trying to get to a point where I can appreciate and understand these gods. Uh, Nail, welcome to the cube. I will get back into the tarot in just a second. Susan is a heartbreaker? I don't think so. I mean, we'll find out when we do hers. <laughs> Invocations can come with messages. Powerful tools. Yeah, true. But yeah, I'm trying not to look into too much. No, I need to write everything we've set down in like two lines. Um, this does actually change things though, because if they're an owl bear, I'm going to have to change Lily, who was an owl. I wonder if it makes sense for... Lily's actual form to be a dragon. Pick. Yeah, this was the first god that had no human elements. I mean, we're only on the third god, but they, they had no human elements. Yeah, I definitely saw an owl. I've got to write owl down, and we're gonna to have to change Lily. Unless they turn out to be sisters or brothers or something. We'll see what comes up later on down the week. All I can see is a polar bear over there. <laughs> Colossus ass. The, I don't think I ever even saw his tail. It was all his face. Like it was very much a, he was standing in front of me, looking at me. Well, looking through me, at the very least. So I'm gonna link Ted and Susan. I'm just gonna like draw arrows to show that their stories are connected. Um, and I think I'll summarize it by saying um, Ted is the collector of stars. And the gifter of hopes and dreams. This is actually, this is very similar vibes to Lily. Because her whole thing is intuition and dreams, and yet Ted is the one that gives dreams. Ted and Lily have to be related in some way. Ted is the collector of stars and the gifter of...
Are you continuing this uh, into next week? Yep. Yes, we are. Uh, there will be... Uh, we've only done three of 12 gods. We don't finish until... All 12 gods have been complete. And then the ritual after the manifestation or the realization of these gods will be to use them in rituals. And to use their knowledge to help us now. Yeah, I really like Ted. I don't know if, I tell you what, if we're quiet today, I want to do one more and I don't even know if it's going to be Susan. Well, the next one we do is definitely going to be between Susan or Lily. So Susan is the God of love, health and nature. And Lily is the God of intuition and dreams. Uh, but the queue is open we'll call it there for those of you watching on YouTube thank you don't forget to drop a like and uh, sub and I'll see you all very soon <laughs>